As we mentioned, tomorrow divers will return to the Patapsco River and try to recover the bodies of the six missing construction workers. Local water search officials say the task ahead is a tall one. CBS Philadelphia's Alicia Roberts spoke to an area dive expert about what crews in Baltimore will be up against. Since the collapse, divers from local and state agencies, along with the FBI's highly trained underwater search and evidence response team, have been looking for those missing. But experts say the conditions they are facing are some of the most difficult anyone can train for. Uh, with 10 being the worst, that's an 11. As search and rescue teams comb through the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge and waters of the Patapsco River, experts warn the conditions are extreme. Generally, close your eyes. That's what the uh, divers dealing with. Not black. Blackwater diving is what it's called. Lieutenant Andrew Napoli is a diver with Philadelphia Police's Marine Unit. He says from dark waters to frigid temperatures. Most of our dives this time of year, they's probably kept to 20 minutes uh, at a time. The elements are especially tough for crews who must also closely monitor the possibility of secondary collapses and debris shifts that could trap and injure dive teams. We move one piece out of the way, next thing you know, everything else starts to tumble. So as a diver, we have to be very, very careful in moving things out of the way. Lieutenant Napoli expects this effort to span weeks and even months in several phases, but says despite what's ahead, he, like the teams on the front lines, know their work matters. We're prepared for the worst. So that, that's just part of our job, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, we, we, want to bring, we want to bring family members home. We, we, you know, sometimes we fail at it, unfortunately. We're not as successful as we would like to be all the time, but we always try to do our best. Teams are also using sonar technology to identify dive targets and say weather plays a key role in how quickly they can work. Alicia Roberts, CBS News, Philadelphia.